inserting pictures into Sketchpad. This video is going to show you two situations which you'll find yourself trying to insert an image into the Sketchpad program. Let's take one example. Perhaps you found an image on the internet, in which case you could simply right click that image, copy, go to your Sketchpad file, wherever it may be, and simply paste the picture that is control V. Could show up in a weird spot, drag it out here. One key step is after you've inserted an image, you will right click properties and uncheck arrow selectable. What this does is then when you click one more time, you can't move the picture around and now we can draw right on top of it for whatever reason. That is one situation in which we might find ourselves. Here's the one for this particular assignment. You take pictures and you want to get that picture into Sketchpad. So I took a picture of this DVD cover, Nacho Libre. I'm going to double click and make that image a little bit bigger. Ideally, we want the image to be about three quarters the size of the screen once it's in the Sketchpad file. So I think that size ought to do. What I'm going to do is use the print screen feature, but also holding the Alt key. Right next to the space bar to the left is the ALT, Alt key. I'm going to hold Alt down and I'm going to press print screen which is a button you find on your keyboard to the upper sort of upper middle upper right hand side. Now nothing appeared to happen it just grabbed this one screen this one open window and it's on the clipboard. I'm going to use a second program called paint. Under your start menu programs you'll find accessories paint. It's a very simple quick program in which we can paste either edit paste or control V and now that picture is here for me to manipulate and this is the magic button the select tool choosing that which I believe is the default tool and I want to grab just the uh, DVD cover so moving just a little to the upper left of that corner it's okay it doesn't have to be a real tight grab I want to see the full cover and click and hold and drag your mouse down so you have the entire rectangle and maybe a smidgen more and let go and then I'm going to copy, either edit copy or control C. Going over to Sketchpad, I can then paste control V. Again, it might end up right in the whoops, hello. Might end up right in the middle of the screen. Control paste. And make sure you're on your arrow tool so you can drag it around. Now this is a little smaller than I hoped, and you might have the desire, as you've seen and in many other programs, to grab that little corner and drag it. But please do not resize the picture in Sketchpad. I repeat, do not resize the picture. One more time, do not resize the picture in Sketchpad. The reason why is the mathematics of the rectangle might have a particular ratio, let's say 3 to 4. And if you do this, you may have altered the proportion of that image. And I don't think Jack Black had that in mind. And then you might try to fix it and then you're guessing and we've ruined the mathematics. So once again, should that happen, just start over. You could just delete and go right back to your original picture and then just zoom in or out a little bit whenever you so needed. And then we can again Alt, Print Screen, go to Paint. I could start a new one from this point. I'll need to save that and Edit Paste using the select tool click and grab whoops I don't think I got it click drag and grab that rectangle let's copy that part edit copy go over to sketchpad and paste it's a little bit better and once again I want to lock the image down right click properties uncheck arrow selectable and now when I click again, it can't be moved. Should you want to move it, you could right click properties and check it right back and then it'll be movable. But at this point now I can draw on top of it. Let's say your homework assignment's completely done. You have your laptop screen photo, your TV screen, some kind of card, and something of your choice. Now that it's complete, save your work. It's always nice to give the file name your name so everybody knows where it came from. 
save it somewhere where you can find it and upload it to the wiki so on the wiki page log in as you and then you can go right to your folder under folders I'm choosing student 30 and you can all go see my own work on student 30 it's viewable by everyone so I'm in folder student 30 and I want to upload the file if you know where you placed it here it is it should upload and the last part of the assignment is create a link that will open the file notice that file might have taken some time to upload when you're dealing with images the file size can get rather large this was 7.81 megabytes it's kinda big but I'm gonna go over to my student page click you may want to upload while you're at school with a good fast server I'm gonna edit this page click for edit I want to scroll down hit return a bit maybe draw a line this is the horizontal line tool separating the ideas from the previous homework and now I need a link that will open up this and I believe I even hinted at the name of the link which I've forgotten so I'm gonna to have to look that back up now I remember the link was to be this so here is the assignment number one from lesson one two and I know that I have a couple more so I might even make a bullet out of it and highlight any part of this I think I'll highlight these words and image and files and you will see the one you just uploaded right there GSP click and now that's a link save this and you have created or I have created a link to my homework you do the same and you will have 100 percent thank you very much